The Kuhn Recon Cookie Press is a great time-saving tool that lets you make batch after batch of differently shaped cookies with just a pull of one trigger. The Cookie Press comes with 12 different discs, allowing you to make 12 fun different shapes. Everything from seasonal, like the tree, wreath, and pumpkin, to flowers, to other fun shapes like hearts and butterflies, great for kids' parties. Today we're making cookies, but the press also comes with these two discs for making savory treats. This one for cheese straws, and this one is perfect for crackers. Now these cookies are beautiful as is, but if you'd like to go to the extra step of decorating, the press also comes with these four decorating tips so you can pipe icing on. Let me show you how simple it is to use. I already made a batch of sugar cookie dough. In fact, I followed the recipe that came with the cookie press. Let me show you how to assemble the press, and then we'll get started with our cookies. I'm gonna unscrew this white bottom ring, insert my first disc, flower shaped, and we'll screw that right back on. Next, I'm going to pull the trigger all the way back so I can unscrew the canister that I'm gonna fill with the dough. Now the easiest way to fill the canister is to make a cylinder shaped piece of dough that you can just pop right in. And that looks good. We can refill it as we go on with our batch. Screw this in. Great. Now to get started, I do need to move my triggers so that the dough is being pressed down into the plate. Ooh, there we go. Let me just get rid of that excess dough. Now the best way to make your cookies is to put the press directly against the baking sheet. After all, it's not the press that's releasing the dough, it's that the dough is sticking to the sheet. So one cookie, one click, here we go. Give it a second to release and then lift up. One click, one cookie. You can see how easily you can churn out batch after batch of these decorative cookies. Now I'd like to change my disc and put on the wreath attachment. I'm just gonna release my trigger really quickly like that and swap out this disc with the wreath. And there's no right or wrong way with these discs. Very easy. Screw this on. Great. Next row. Again, put the press directly on the cookie sheet. One click, one cookie. Now, if you find that you've made a cookie that isn't as beautiful as you would like, you can always scrape off the dough and put it back in the bowl with your leftover dough and then re-stamp another cookie in its place. Now let's move on and do a row of heart-shaped cookies. Now the reason why I press down on this lever is to release the tension of my press so I don't have too much dough oozing out the top. The heart-shaped disc on, screw on the white ring, same technique. Cute. You can see that one of my techniques is to lift the press off the cookie sheet very slowly so the shape stays intact. Great. A dozen cookies just like that. I'm going to pop these into the oven and then I'll show you some decorating tips. I've taken my cookies out of the oven and I've let them cool on the tray. And look at these gorgeous results. I love all the detail. And you can see it just took a matter of moments. The Kuhn Recon cookie press lets me get bakery quality results, but again, in a matter of minutes. Now, I think these are beautiful as is, but if you want to take that extra step, you can always decorate them with one of the four pastry tips it comes with. I hope you have just as much fun as I do making your cookies.